Hello and welcome to TW2013. I am here once again with my 2006 save. And this is Friday Night Smackdown and my attempt to rehab Smackdown as I've had a couple Smackdown shows that haven't been too great. So let's let's get into it. Um, Pre-show match, Samoa Joe, Alex Shelley. Samoa Joe wins Kukina Clutch. It's a good match. I'm, I'm happy with grade. It's a pre-show match. Um, Frank Kazarian versus Roderick Strong. I expected this to be worse, so I'm happy about it. Um, and I'm kind of liking the little push that I'm giving Kazarian. The little one on the main show. That was good. J Jay Lethal and JBL have good chemistry. Okay, that's good. And sh show opens up with the Undertaker promo and leads into a Batista promo about Ray Ray. Um, and then goes into the match setup from last week. Batista versus Christopher Daniels. Batista wins. After the match, he's still beating Kazari down. Not Kazari, Daniels down. And Rey Mysterio comes up and makes the save. I forgot to make Mysterio on screen, but oh well. <coughs> and if you couldn't tell, I have a little bit of a cold, so... Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Um... Alex Shelley has the best promo of his career, maybe. Just maybe has the best promo of his career so far on Austin Aries. And leads into a Randy Orton-Chris Saban match, which Orton wins via punt, to, punt kick to the head. And then he has a promo about how Sting should not be in the world title match. That he should get his one-on-one -on -one match, which technically he should, but Sting, bro. Samoa Joe hype about Christian, just talking about Christian, blah, 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 blah. Leads into this match, um, of the th three men that will be in the Fatal 4-Way, the three challengers, that Christian wins. He beats Benoit and Jericho, and Christian defeated Benoit by submission with a Texas Clover leaf after blatant cheating. So, good for Christian. Gets a win. Gets a big win over these two. Former world champion this year, U.S. champion this year, and he main he he co he was in the SmackDown main event of WrestleMania. So was he. So I mean, two big men that he he just defeated. And just a little brawl with Kazarian and Finlay. This was like this is the push thing I was talking about with Kazarian. He's having this little feud with Finlay, one segment per week. I'm not devoting to anything else. <laughs> Just come on, Kazarian. I'm giving you something. Do something with it. And I mean, on the main show, on the pre-show, he did really good. But uh, well, I mean, he didn't really do really good. He he did acceptable. Nitro and Mercury promo. They're talking about what man we 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 have to face Lundrick again this week for the titles. There's no way that we are gonna lose. Which leads into Brian Kendrick in London winning the tag team titles. Brian Kendrick defeated Mercury by pinfall with a get well soon. Lundrick wins the tag team titles. Which leads into their celebration. Good for them. Woohoo. Go Lundrick. Tag team champs. Leading to a Sting promo about The Undertaker and god damn it I'm having this string of really bad main events I mean I thought they might have good chemistry with each other so I just put them together but apparently not so we may just have to go to another William Regal Undertaker match next week for the main event to be honest and an A stare down between the three members of the triple threat for the world title. I just realized I have a triple threat and a fatal four way for two titles at at um their next paper my next pay per view for SmackDown. Unless I do the fatal four way before, but I think I already pre booked it for Great American Bash, yeah. So boom. <laughs> Alright. A B Okay, that's a solid grade for the for what the main event was. That is good. That is really good. All right, let's continue the next day. See if there's anything important, and then I'll be done. Uh, 
Okay. Nope. Nothing except for I need to put Matt Stryker and Black Pearl on the, the what I'm going to call the TNA brand in AP. You're going there, bro. Black Pearl, bro. You're going there. No, actually. A r wrong one. Best one. You're going. Bo. Boom. <laughs> Kenny King and Donovan Morgan are going there tomorrow. Let me see how it's doing here. It's North American Pro. So, they're the only ones, and then the owner and booker are currently vacant. Hmm. Do I have a dojo? No, I should probably make one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one. Cody, Dustin, Gold Dust is the trainer. Assigned trainer. Let's see here. Let me see here. Hmm. Let me look at. Let me look at something with Sting real fast. Basics a okay. Sting would be a good trainer, but let me look at one other person. What's your basics? Okay, yeah, Terry Funk is gonna be the trainer at the WWE Performance Center, which technically was not around yet. <laughs> All right, assigned trainer. Terry Funk, select. Actually, I didn't even check up on who was actually. I didn't even check the skills of Dustin Rhodes. I just kind of assumed. <laughs> yeah, he's not as good. He has an A, but not a hundred A plus. He does here, but not there. So boom, Terry Funk beat you. All right. Let's see what TNA did, because I'm kind of curious. Because they have vacant tag champs, they have... Why did I click on that? I should have clicked on this. They didn't do as good as SmackDown, woohoo. Alright, well, I will see you next episode. Hopefully I don't... Actually, since I'm recording the next episode right after this one, I will still have that mic hold, but eh. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Talk to you next time.